सदा मुक्त योपि बद्धस्मि भक्ति सुस्नेह रज्जु भी अजीतो योपि जीतो हम त्रयीर अवश्योपि वशिक्ता तक्तो बंधुजन स्नेह मैया कुरुते रतिम एकोस एकोस्तशास्मि साचामेनाजन्नो अस्त्याभयो सुहिदा शादा मुक्तयोपि बद्धयोस्मि भक्ति सुस्नेहरज्जुवि अजीतयोपि जीतोहम् तैरवश्योपि वशिक्तः तक्तो बंधु सज्जनस तक्तो बंधु जनस नहुमैया कुरुते रतिम एकास्तश्यास्मि साचमेनो चान्नोस्ति अब्बयो सुहिदा गौरियो गोष्टी बती गौरियो गोष्टी बती शीशेलो भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत प्रभुपाद टोल्ड दैट भगवान दे आर एक्चुअली ही इज सोल्ड टू डिवोटिस बॉडी गोष्टी पति हे शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट श्री भगवान इज एक्चुअली सोल्ड टू डिवोटिस डेफिनेटली यू जस्ट नो दिस फॉर श्योर दैट भगवान इज एक्चुअली सोल्ड टू डिवोटिस दैट भक्त अधीन गोविंद हु इज सोल्ड टू डिवोटिस गोविंद दैट ऑल दोज भगवत भक्त दैट दो दे आर एक्चुअली द शक्ति ऑफ भगवान इवन इफ दे आर द शक्ति ऑफ भगवान स्टिल दैट दे आर शक्ति दैट सेवा विचार वट आर वट दे आर हैविंग इफ वील बी डूइंग दैट दैन दे आर एक्चुअली मोर देन भगवान गुरुदेव गुरु वैष्णव दे आर मोर देन भगवान वाई बिकॉज इफ इट इज नॉट एट ऑल लाइक दैट देन दैट हाउ वी कैन सर भगवान दैट भगवान हु इज एक्चुअली स्मॉलर देन भगवान हु इज एक्चुअली थिनर एंड स्मॉलर देन भगवान हाउ ही कैन डू द सेव ऑफ भगवान हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग that bhagwan actually is actually all independent still he is actually sold to all the devotees that uh, but the devotees who are serving bhagwan that kind of shri what the devotees are having like the case some you are actually speaking the name of some vaishnav and guru that shri is very much important to speak before their name that shri it is just not like uh, that material world shri that shri means that top most uh, saundarya that beautifulness of the uh, that seva swarup of uh, shrimati radha rani that radha rani is mam that shri is that shri tatva shri ji lardli ji we are speaking radha rani we are speaking like that to shrimati radha rani like that isliye that's why bhagwan se bhi badhkar that it is more than bhagwan that guru to or bhagwan is uh, guru to of krishna uh, is more than bhagwan prabhu is speaking that if it is not like that then how we can serve bhagwan how that actually everything bhagwan is actually actually bhagwan is actually getting controlled by the devotees because uh, all these guru vaishnavas are more heavier than bhagwan because they have just uh, uh, taken control over bhagwan bhagwan actually is uh, independent of everything but still that kind of shri of the devotees the actual ex, uh, seva swarup of the devotees in front of that it bhagwan is getting actually getting sold to the those devotees and is getting surrendered on to the devotees that's why bhagwan actually speaking aham bhakto paradhino hi asatantra ivadi vastutah definitely that uh, sevya the worshipable object that kind of marmagya means that uh, the worshipable object inside the heart of those worshipable objects 
inside the heart of that worshipable object it is actually getting inside their heart and what is their actual desire what is their actual desire to do if we cannot get that then how you can serve that worshipable object seva means seva means that to, in order to satisfy that worshipable object so that's why propad actually speaking that may be that uh, for what to f- when not understanding the actual thing of the worshipable object it is not at all uh, possible to serve that worshipable object at all if you can't understand the actual desire of that worshipable object that's why that utkrishta sevak those who are actually sevak actual sevak they are they are actually not they actually all the time they are actually waiting for the uh, uh, decision of bhagwan and whatever the actual internal bhav of bhagwan they just by understanding that by full thinking of that thing they just want to have that desire to do seva under that guidance only that devotee is how actually can understand the heart of the devotee is his vihari lal bhagwan knows the actual heart of the devotees in the same manner devotees also know the also knows the heart of bhagwan that antaryami bhagwan like he he is be the antaryami of the antaryami he knows the desire of the heart also of bhagwan also so that's why with a very peaceful mood you just need to do seva that's it now the shlok which i have already started with there actually what it is written bhagwan actually speaking maybe i am actually actually free from everything that uh, the kind of bondage and uh, freeness this kind of uh, wish this kind of uh, wish if it is coming i am definitely out of that only of this bondage and uh, release so this bondage and release this kind of uh, question will not come in my way at all i am actually free still i am actually under the under the bondage of the devotees by the actual uh, sneha and prema of the devotees i am getting uh, bonded by their uh, by their prema towards me the devotees which having topmost sneha that kind of uh, chain they are actually putting me in that bondage i am actually getting in bo- i actually accept their bondage to be get into their bonded bonded condition maybe my name is ajit i cannot be get uh, nobody can get victory over me but still i am getting bonded by the prema of the devotees still i can get into the chain of uh, the devotees maybe i am not at all in the bondage of anyone but still i get bonded to devotees why because those devotees who are who are actually just uh, uh all quitting and leaving their own material relationships and just by leaving all those relationship and and just giving me full confidence on me and just developing a relationship with me for them only they are only me and i am also for them only and sometimes bhagwan actually speaking in the shastras as well that i am i am actually under their uh, under their uh, guidance i will do whatever they want i am sold to them shruit matlab shravaniya that to hear whatever they will speak i will just hear that and will go accordingly all the time actually bhagwan is surrendered on to the devotees he is getting sold on to devotees that's why that bhagwan actually speaking that devotees that i am of devotees and devotees are of mine that devotees are of mine and i am of devotees in brahm samhita brahm samhita's this uh, fifth shloka fifth number shloka that fifth number shloka and fifth number shloka and fifth adhyay i am actually discussing from the last one to two weeks and here pichle din yesterday also i have just told you 
that go, in golok dham to go to golok dham is not an ordinary thing that from all the four directions that it is protected it is a protected area like a military area army area is actually protected no it is a protected area nobody can go outsider cannot go trespassers can't go from there so this um, material world that military area of this material world nobody trespassers can't go from there in the same manner that is just uh, think of the security area of the transcendental world how much uh, uh, strong and tight security system will be of the transcendental world you can understand that from all the four direction there is one kind of protection this i have already told you previous week that there are 10 directions 10 tridents that one is at the north south east and west and agni nayanit vayu these all are the directions in this on these 10 directions then all the four direct all the four sides these 10 directions are actually covered with that 10 tridents 10 different tridents there is protection given by those 10 tridents on those 10 directions and and east astanidhi like mahapadma padma all these east mystic siddhis these are eight ratna rare ratna rare diamonds that ast siddhi east eight mystic siddhis it is actually covered by that it is actually covered by the east mystic siddhis from all the all the directions Ashtanidhi, I have already told you. Ashtanidhi, I have already told you. Mahapadma, Padma, Shank. And the eight rare, rare Ratna means diamonds are also there. By eight mystic Siddhis actually it is being worshipped. It is actually being worshipped by eight different mystic Siddhis and being covered by all these eight mystic Siddhis. These are the eight mystic siddhis. It is actually getting served by all these eight mystic siddhis, these directions. And after that, eight rare diamonds are there in all the directions, spread it in all the four directions. So this is actually very surprising and amazing thing. This place is just by my normal oratorship and just by profession. You, I can't give you that explanation. That transcendental was the place cannot be compared with the material place at all. It cannot be made uh, explained by the material explanation. That uh, there are ten uh, digpals, that uh, ten kind of different uh, indradi, that. Uh, um, it is actually protected by 10 servants outside Digpal. From all the four directions it is actually covered. And I have already told you that Gokul inside that innermost part of the Gokul that there is externally one square of square place called Shweta Dweep. This I have already told you. That Shweta Deep having this uh, four uh, square form, that one uh, one part is uh, Vasudev, other is Sankarshan, third is Pradyumna, and fourth is Aniruddha. In this four Chaturvyu is there in all the four directions, different directions. And Dharma, Artha, Kamurtha, these uh, four Purusharts are there. Inside that, that actual Swarup, that Mantratma, Rig, Sam, Yadur, Vad, uh, the four kind of Vedas are actually get preached. All the four, all the directions it is getting covered by that. This I have already told you. And at that place, where in this material place, where time, place and matter has no dependency and no uh, no value, no value there. That is called the transcendental world. That is called Shweta Dweep. Very surprising place and amazing place, this Gaurav Nirupan. That prasang which I am actually discussing in front of you. In this Gokul, the Shweta Deep externally it's there at the outer portion. And Vyas Avatar. That's why Vyas Avatar, that kind of Shweta Deep Dham, Navadip Gram 
एक्चुअली इज जस्ट गिविंग दैट टाइटल इज जस्ट गिविंग वन इंडिकेशन ऑफ दैट श्वेत द्वीप धाम सिमिलर टू डैट नव द्वीप धाम इन दैट श्वेत द्वीप धाम दैट काइंड ऑफ वशिष्ट लीला ऑफ गोकुल दैट अपेंडिक्स पार्ट ऑफ द गोकुल लीला ऑफ कृष्ण लीला दैट इज कॉल्ड नवद्वीप लीला इट इज एटर्नली प्रेजेंट इट इज एटर्नली प्रेजेंट देयर so that navadvi mandal braj mandal that is a khand tatva and is non different tatva and there is no difference in between them at all that prem vachitra gat by that the diversity of prema there is some actual diversity of prema that anant bhav vishist that diversity of prema it is just getting manifested and there it is taking different different kind of names like that and this aur ek nigudu tatva there is another uh, uh, in depth tatva that param prem tatva mahajangan this place actually is getting uh, one person can know about this transcendental place other persons they don't have this kind of eligibility and capacity to know about this place transcendental place no one other can know about this transcendental place at all other persons can't understand this place it is not at all possible for everyone it is not at all possible to understand this very surprising and amazing place this gokul is गोलोक इज इन श्वेत द्वीप एंड स्लोली स्टेडली एक्चुअली इट इज स्पोकन हेयर दैट भूर भुवस्व दैट ऑफ थ्री मटीरियल वर्ल्ड मटीरियलिस्टिक वर्ल्ड वी हैव टू गो अब इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट ऊर्ध अध बाय दिस एक्चुअल डिस्ट्रक्शन दिस इट इज एक्चुअली डेकोरेटेड विद ऑल दोज फोर्टीन वर्ल्ड लाइक इन ब्रह्म संहिता इन इन वेन विल गो फॉरवर्ड दैट काइंड विल discussion will come prabhav nichaya vihitas jeno govindavad purusham tamam maya devi mahesh dham te sudesh devi dham that devi dham mahesh dham mahesh dham actually speaking it's not that ordinary kailash dham i am speaking here mahesh dham mahesh dham just by signifying that is the dham of sada shiv where that uh, which is above that brahmalok when you are actually going after brahmalok and after skipping virja river also that kind of uh, brahm effulgence when you will be going up than that after crossing that brahm effulgence then only that sadashiv lok you can uh, reach there and i have already told you that in virja river that buddhist people those who are actually uh, those who are following moinism the shunyavad who are following they are actually getting nirvan in that and those who are mayavadis and those who are dumb demons and asuras those who are already killed by bhagwan that is called brahma jyoti brahman effulgence they are getting their place there and devotees there is actually lot of differences and categorization you have don't have this kind of thinking you are thinking that it is all the same but it's not like that you think that everything is all the same all devotees are at one level but it's not like that that sanyasi paramhans gan or those who are sanyasi paramhans by hari those who are actually killed by hari that all those asuras and demons were killed by hari himself they can go after virja and they can get that brahman effulgence they can get one with that brahman effulgence and they can get into that uh, brahm tat and can find then nirvan and nivritti they can find that in that brahman effulgence but uh, the devotees of bhagwan actually there are a lot of categorization regarding if i someone can understand then it is a question no? the the top most parameshwarya mein that gyan devotees and prem bhakti then prem param bhakta they are prem para bhakta they are so lot of categorization is there of bhagwan lot of vibhed and categorization are there of the devotees am 
नॉर्मल पर्सन कैनोट कैनोट डिडेंट नो दिस काइंड ऑफ तत्व हाउ दो ज्ञानीज एंड माया वेज वॉट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दम माया वाद इज ऑल्सो आर स्पीक कंपेयर विद ज्ञानीज बट दे आर एक्चुअली ड्राई फिलोसफर्स ड्राई ज्ञानीज दोज पीपल हु आर दोज हु आर डूइंग साधन नंद दो हर सिद्ध दे आर एक्चुअली महत महत आर ऑल्सो ऑफ टू टाइप वन इज ज्ञान सिद्धि एंड वन इज भक्ति सिद्ध दिस इज टू कैटेगराइजेशन ज्ञान सिद्धि दैट मायावाद इज इट इज ऑल द सेम इट लुक्स लाइक दैट दे आर वन द सेम बट नॉट द सेम यू जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑन दिस पॉइंट वन आई एम स्पीकिंग दोज पीपल हु आर साधक दैट दे आर सत एंड दोज हु आर सिद्ध दे आर महत महत आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज ज्ञान सिद्ध ज्ञान सिद्ध महत एंड द अदर वन इज भक्ति सिद्ध महत ज्ञान सिद्ध एंड मायावादी इट लुक्स लाइक दे आर ऑल द सेम बट दे आर नॉट द सेम मायावादी दे आर एक्चुअली अपराधी ऑन टू लोटस वीट ऑफ कृष्ण मायावादी इज दे आर एक्चुअली अपराधी ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण दे आर एक्चुअली अपराधी ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण एंड दे आर कृष्ण अभक्त दे आर नॉन डिवोटिज ऑफ कृष्ण दे आर एक्चुअली नाम रूप गुंड लीला of bhagwan actually they are thinking that it is temporary and it is not permanent and they are doing aparad on the lotus feet of krishna and mayavadi actually i against that uh, transcendental world that uh, bhagwan is actually has nit chit vilas they are actually against that kind of tattva but gyanis are not like that that's why mayavadis are asat but gyani is sat and gyani is mahat that brahma anushilan kari that sadhak devotees that those who are sadhak they do they are those gyanis are sat brahma anushilan kari sadhak and those who are brahma anushilan kari sadhaks they are actually sat and gyan siddh gan gyani maha they are gyani maha gyan siddh that gyan siddh ka matlab hai it means gyan siddh means that they are having that samadarshan that all those gyan siddh gan they are having that samadarshan prashant and for all the jivas actually it is chaturshan etc all those mahapurush gan they are gyan siddh and gyan gyani mahagan and sukhdev goswami previously was atmaram gyani in the previous uh, purvashram previously while starting his bhajan they are he is atmaram gyani and after that he uh, can he has already got the taste of madhur ras durvasa was gyani bhakt that shantaras anubhav he was actually getting that realization on shantaras durvasa muni but in bhagavat that bhagavat sadak gan they are actually gyani mahat sadgan gyani mahat ko dusre bhasha ke dwara by the other language they are actually spoken as mahagyani and we are actually speaking them as mahabhagavat by other name in other language that mahabhagavat is the top most that mahagyani that bhagavat in this that kind of uh, getting the realization in both the cases that it looks like it is all the same but it's not the same at all in the gyan mark that uh, getting that brahman brahman ushilan and in the bhakti mark the de- devotee is that kind of bhagavat prem what they are getting that is the top most in this it is actually all both of them are uh, in the category of mukta purush but those they are actually more that ma from mahagyan is mahabhagavat are more uh, uh, superior because bhagavat ji mahapuran speaking danam narayana parayana इट्स रिटर्न इन श्रीमद भागवतम रिगार्डिंग महाज्ञानीज एंड महापुरुष दैट महापुरुष आर वेरी रेयर दे आर मोर सुपीरियर देन महाज्ञानीज सो ज्ञान सिद्धि द भक्त सिद्धि इज मोर सुपीरियर देन ज्ञान सिद्धि वेरी वेरी एलिवेशन एलिवेटेड देन द ज्ञान सिद्ध भक्त सिद्ध डिवोटिस ब्रह्म संहिता 
दैट दैट परमेश्वर्य ऐश्वर्य मय परिशुद्ध भक्ति प्रेम भक्त प्रेम पर भक्त एंड प्रेम आतुर भक्त वन दिस काइंड ऑफ कैटेगराइजेशन इज देयर इन वैकुंठ यू कैन फाइंड दैट कैटेगराइजेशन एंड पर ब्रह्म एंड परम ब्रह्मात्मक दैट अपराकृत दैट नारायण धर्म दे आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग देयर प्लेस देयर एंड and those who are brajanugat those who are actually under the anugatya of brajvasis and braj brajras what to speak about them brajanugat those who are actually having that braj anugatya that param madhurjamay devotees they are only can get golok dham in their life otherwise nobody else can get golok there according to categorization of different ras that the devotees are having their different different kind of functions and conditions and different vichar is there that krishna's by the krishna's chintya shakti this is actually uh, actually getting uh, concluded here uh, that shuddh 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 brajanugat those who are get to shuddh brajvasis who are actually doing the association of pure devotees of braj those who are actually krishna devotees and shuddh navadip anugat devotees they are under their guidance they are actually getting established in that only and braj and in navadip it is all the same there is no difference at all that braj dham and navadip dham there is no difference at all brajdeep brajdham and navadeep dham it is it is it looks like it's all the same but it's not like that some it's all the same brajdham and navadeep dham ek jaisa hi lagta it looks like the same only brajdeep that braj and navadeep braj and navadeep it is actually non different tatva that's why gauru braja vedo vishishta program gaur kishor that gaur kishor dos baba ji maharaj uh, that uh, ashtakam it is written there braja navadip ka that braja navadip just by having that oneness all the devotees can get the gaur lok and krishna lok that kind of seva they can get in both the lokas you understand the point what i'm speaking for, uh, for every gaur leela the devotees are there those who are actually parshad of bhagwan they have actually two swarup one in one swarup they are actually doing the seva of nitya vrindavan and in the other swarup they are actually just doing the seva of bhagwan in vrindavan bhagwat bhakto nen bhagwat bhakt aur ya achinta shakti ke dwara and by that achinta shakti they are he is actually staying there and shuddha anugat shuddha braj bhakt gan and each and every parshad of gorang mahaprabhu but they are actually having the two swarup one swarup in nitya vrindavan in vrindavan dham they are serving uh, and in other swarup they are serving in gaur dham they are actually doing seva in gaur dham about this in the kartik month also i have already told and before that also i have told of regarding this that how it is possible to do seva definitely it is possible in every possible way that same roop goswami pad actually in the roop manjari form she is serving radha rani and radha govind jugal sarkar seva this she is doing in krishna dham and that same roop goswami pad in the form of roop goswami is doing seva in gaur dham aur ek dusra swarup ke dwara in avadhi dham mein is actually serving in avadhi dham both the dham both the places he is serving both the sir places is serving dono jagah in krishna dham and go krishna lok and now gaur lok also wa madhumati sakhi they are actually narhari sarkar also in madhumati sakhi in vrindavan dham and here is narhari sarkar he is actually serving in gaur dham so like this is the actual vichar
एंड स्लोली स्टेडली भक्ति में ठाकुर ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग दैट परम गोलोक एंड परम श्वेत द्वीप दैट स्वरूप दैट अखंड इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर एज द एक्चुअल थिंग इज दैट रिगार्डिंग दिस दैट ब्रज लीला स्वरूप कृष्ण लीला इन ऑर्डर टू टेस्ट दैट कृष्ण लीला इन ऑर्डर टू टेस्ट दैट कृष्ण लीला दैट वॉट इज द एक्चुअल कंक्लूजन दैट ब्रज लीला स्वरूप दैट कृष्ण लीला बाई टेस्टिंग दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ टॉप मोस्ट रसा दैट कंप्लीट दैट आस्वादन टेस्ट यू कैन नॉट बाई बाई नॉट गेटिंग दैट कंप्लीट टेस्ट दैट कृष्ण रसाश्रय स्वरूपी श्रीमती राधिका भाव दैट दैट श्रीमती राधिका स्वरूप दिस हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू यू दैट श्रीमती राधा दैट प्रणय विकार ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी दैट कृष्ण एक्चुअली थिंकिंग एंड आवर टॉप मोस्ट madhurama that what is that that what radharani is actually tasting that all the time how what is that thing actually and this madhurima anubhuti that kind of anubhuti that realization that shrimati radharani in what what kind of uh, happiness she is actually feeling in this kind of wish that krishna chandra regarding that that from that sachi garv sindhu that he is getting the uh, getting avirbhav in the womb of sachi mata in order to taste that uh, uh, shrimati radhika's happiness what krishna is feeling what radharani is feeling for krishna in the form of gaur in the vedas also actually it is written and in gita also bhagwan actually has just told regarding this rahasyam that rahasyam that topmost rahasya mystery kya what actually is told चैतन्यात्मा चैतन्य शक्ति करो भक्ति दो भक्ति दो बहुत सारे लॉट ऑफ एक्चुअली दिस काइंड ऑफ कंक्लूजन आर देयर इन द शास्त्र प्रैक्टिकल कंक्लूजन दैट गौरंग महाप्रभु दैट राधा गोविंद जी राधा गोविंद मिलित विग्रह दे आर जस्ट बाय देयर ओन विल एंड डिजायर दे हैव जस्ट गॉट Uh, manifested this leela in the form of gore in front of us manifested eternally in the form of gore bahut sare pramans so lot of uh, proofs are there practical proofs at the actual avirbhav of gorang mahaprabhu regarding that lot of uh, proofs are there regarding that it will take a lot of time by discussing all these things that about nitanda tatva gorang tatva everything a different different kind of which are is there nitanand tatva bhagavat tatva lot of uh, different different which are all different of which are kind of which are in bhagavad gita mahapuran also श्यामदन भवतोवा आसनो वर्ण स्त्रो 
कि अशोगण्यतो अनुयुगम तोनु शुक्लोलक्तस तथापितो इदानिं कृष्णतम् इत्यम् नित्यज्ञ ऋषि देव जसावतारे जसावतारे लोकानो विभावयशि हंसि जगत प्रतिपानो धर्मम महापुरुषो पासि जुगानुवृत्तम छन्न कलो यद अभवाह स्त्रीजुगो अथोषतम In Shweta Shatar Upanishad also it is written. In Shweta Shatar Upanishad also it is written. In Shweta Shatar Upanishad also it is written. Lot of actually proofs are there. This in from the Mahabharat Dantar, I have actually spoken this point. In the Adi Puran also it is written. In Adi Puran it is written. In the Adi Puran also it is written. Lot of uh, proofs are there ma- about regarding the Avir Baba Mahaprabhu. Lot of proofs are there in the Shastras. I have already told you that how this Golok Dham Nirupan Prasang in that in that Golok Dham Nirupan Prasang I have already discussed that and In Gopal Champu also that Jeev Goswami Pada has already written. In Sanskrit it is already written this point. This Chaturdas, just by getting the Atikram of this Chaturdas, that Atma Roop Loop Nirvan you can get. That Atma Lop Swarup Nirvan you can get. That actually with Bhagwan. That kind of that with complete with completeness you cannot beat Bhagwan. This one example I am giving regarding this. That there is one kind one parrot. 
is is going where uh, flying uh, flying and going where this kind that all the four direction there is greenness and all lush green grass is there and where that parrot has gone and sitting in what place but we don't know that at all we cannot see that and uh, that kind of uh, vinash what is there that kind of vinash of our bhur bhu sat that uh, the normal persons are actually are uh, getting bhut prej vishal actually all actually staying there in a very fine form they are actually taking this body in the swarg demigods all those uh, swargvasi those are having getting very pious activities lot of pious activities are there actually staying there in uh, swarg lok they are getting staying in that heaven and lot of uh, kind of uh, different different uh, enjoying mood are there in the swarg lok their description is there regarding this that kami karmi and all those the grahasthi they are actually staying in bhu lok bhu bhuvas and sw in these three lokas they are actually staying they are actually going coming and going coming and going like that they are doing that they are actually coming and going like that in bhur bhu sanswa and after that they can't go ahead of that they just be going and leaving body and coming again leaving body and coming in like that this cycle will go on and out, out of those three world they cannot go out and that's why they would be staying in that that those who are kami and karmi those who are full of desires and those who are karmi those who are actually busy in fruitive activities those who are actually already busy in fruitive activities and those who are grahasth gan that they are actually just going uh, coming and going in all these three lokas and those who are brahmacharis that shant purush and nishkam purush that by the dharma yuga and mohar lok jarm lok tap lok up till that they can uh, go up till that but still wherever they will go and whatever they will do they definitely this kind of cycle of birth and that they they it will be go going on but they cannot go out of that it is not possible to go out of that inside that they the coming and going this kind of cycle will go on for them they can't go out of this cycle of birth and that at all bodily concept and those who are sanyasis those who are paramhans those who are by hari they are actually killed by hari all these all those demons they are actually after skipping virja they are actually getting into that brahman effulgence and getting that oneness atma nirvan they are getting that uh, that parameshwar priya that gyani devotees the gyani bhakt the devotees who are gyani that shuddh bhakt prem bhakt prem prem par bhakt and prem atur bhakt different categorization is there of different different devotees according to their level of devotion and de- and the bhav what they are actually getting it is categorized according to that and i have already discussed before i have already told you before this point that those who are actually sadak they are actually sat and those who are siddh they are mahat mahat actually is of two types i have already told gyan siddh and bhakti siddh it can be gyan siddh and bhakti siddh gyan siddh they are actually mayavadi externally it all looks all the same gyani and mayavadi mayavadi actually is apradi on the lotus feet of krishna he is actually in a non devotee of krishna he is not at all thinking of naam guna leela parikar vishisht dham they are actually thinking that it is all temporary and they are becoming apradi and but gyani is not like that that's why mayavadi people they are all uh, apradi but those who are gyanis that they are, they are actually mahat definitely they are mahat that brahman anushilan sadak gan that those who are actually doing the anushilan of brahm they are actually gyani sat and that those who are gyan siddh gyani they are gyani mahat that in gyan siddh there is some darshan prashant this all kind of conditions Uh, what will just occur in each and every jiva that uh, 
that sukhdev go swami path like in the previous ashram he was actually atmaram gyani but after that he has got the top most taste of madhur ras in his life durvasa was also gyani devotee and he is actually gyani shant paryant anubhav he has realized that shant ras durvasa muni and bhagwat sadak gyan devotees they are actually more than gyani devotees maybe you will be speaking that mahagyani or they are actually mahasiddh topmost siddhi they got that they are mahabhagavati shrishth they are actually siddhanam narayana parayana sudur labha prashanti atma koti shopi mahamati that gyani and bhagavat the actual lakshan actual uh, uh, symptom is that gyan siddh and gyani siddhi the actual symptom is that that with their own body what kind of different different uh, anubhutis they are they are actually just uh, losing that the gyan siddhi is actual symptom is that that whatever actually is related to their, their uh, body and body related thing they have just lost that all the time they are actually happy in that uh, topmost happiness getting from brahma and bhakti the act and uh, for all those bhakti siddhi just uh, having prem towards vasudev and uh, that's why ar trividho mahat jo hai and trividho mahat what it is there bhakti siddh that uh, bhakti siddh is also of of three types that bhakti siddh bhakti siddh that bhakti siddh tin pagar it is also of three types one is murchit kashay tat jinke hridar mein abhi kashay sanskar which have some some kind of kashay or smell is there in a very uh, very uh, fine form it is there in like a smell of uh, uh, kashay is there some smell is there what i have told that murchit kashay murchit with that inside there hide some some kind of smell taint is there very very fine very small and fine form it is there and very very fine form it is present there inside their heart still it is there that definitely their whole whole kasai actually getting moved and bhagwat parshad deha that those who already got into nitya leela that is the it means the murchit kasai nirdha kasai and prapt bhagwat parshad these are three leela pravishta that is the last one murchit and nirdhut kasai they are actually different different vichar is there actually regarding them now if we can see isme in that bhagwan ka that bhagwan top most parameshwarya may gyan devotees should devotees prem bhakt prem par bhakt prem anand bhakt that that param that aprakrit narayan dham they are actually getting manifested there and and those who are raganuga devotees that under those who are brajwa, under the guidance of brajavasis those who are uh, getting that anurag for prem for krishna those who are serving krishna like brajavasis they are iroka for them they are actually rag bhakt they are actually rag devotees those who are actually doing the uh, association of rag devotees they are raganuga bhakt brajanugat brajanugat that param madhur jamai that in they are definitely go in golok dham only and uh, just according to the different uh, taste of rasa the devotees are actually having different different kind of conditions and categorization and the achin by the bhagwan's achintya shakti it is actually uh, getting nirnit by that and uh, under the shuddha brajanugatya in krishna lok and shuddha navadvip anugatya bhaktagan in gaur lok they are actually already eternally manifesting their leela there and those who are actually braj and navadvip it is all the same they are thinking 
that Nandapraja and Navadiv, there is no difference between them. That Krishna Lok and Gaur Lok, that Jugpad Seva, both in both the Loka they are doing Seva simultaneously. Bhagavan Sri Krishna Rasalila, that Rasalila Pit is Golok only. And this Param. This uh, and this uh, and this Param Lok Gop Gopal Bas. This Golok, what we are speaking, this is actually the actual Raslila Peet of Krishna. That is the actual Raslila Peet of Krishna. And this Param Lok, in that Param Lok only, that Ananya Prisht, topmost pure. Self manifested Achintya Swarup that Gyanmai Pratipai, that Rasa Vishay, in order to just taste that pure Rasa, he is getting, getting that Aswadan. It means that in Vrindavan, like Prajavasis, under the Anugatya of Prajavasis, we are getting Shuddha Raga Bhakti. And Golok and Navadvip, it is not at all not different. Shvetadvip, what we are speaking, it is not different. That Vrindavan Leela, that Parishishta. That appendix part we can find. Prabhupada always used to speak this point that Gaur Leela, that the actual complete explanation of Braj Leela, the Gaur Leela, that Navadip Leela is, and that, that also it has Prem also. That, but that is actually topmost unique, uh, undifferentiated Prem, that is called Shweta Dweep. This, uh, that is definitely Golok Dham only, but the actual Tatpare is that, that Braj Leela Rup Krishna Leela, just by tasting that also, that uh, actual uh, conclusive part is that, that Braj Leela Swarup, that just by tasting that also, that kind of uh, topmost rasa, each and every part of the rasa, means that in uh, the actual conclusive part of the rasa, it means that each and every particular rasa, that extreme enjoyment what is there, that kind of topmost anand you haven't got. So that's why that Krishna, that Krishna, the Shasraya Rup Swarupani, that he is getting the taken, the Swarup and Kanti of Radharani, which I've already just discussed half an hour before. Krishna is taking in uh, and just want to taste that transcendental rasa. It means that Srimati Radhanani is that Pranay Mahima. What is of what type is that? Bhagavan actually just thinking and just want to taste that Rasaswadan of Srimati Radhanani. That how actually Pranay Mahima of Radharani is there. And this time, what is my Adruk Madhurima? That what Radharani actually tasting that. And she is actually getting that transcendental happiness. And what is my Madhurima? That Srimati Radhana, what kind of happiness she is feeling? What kind of taste she is getting in that rasa? I want to explore that. So in order to explore that, that by Madhurima, that what Srimati Radhana is taking, that it is of what type? And uh, my Madhurima and wow, Srimati Radhani getting that transcendental taste. What kind of happiness she is getting? All these three things, all these three things in order to taste that, that all those three different vishes, that according to that, that uh, Krishna Chandra Swayam, it's for uh, in this particular Kalikal, he is getting Avirbhav in the form because this, this is particular, after this particular Dvapara Yuga also, this particular Kalikal, actually it is mentioned that Krishna is taking in that Dwapar Yuga, that Swayamru Bhagavan Shri Krishna Nandan Nandan Shri Krishna Leela is actually doing Leela and is getting uh, uh, disappeared and after that disappearance, after getting that disappeared Leela and Krishna actually calculating that, that uh, what kind of Leela I have done, that I have just get the taste also. But mostly people haven't understood that particular Leela of mine in Dwaparyu. So that's why again I have to go in Kaliyu. And in that particular particular Dwaparyu where Bhagavan is coming. After that, born in that Kaliyu, particular Kaliyu Bhagavan is coming. After that 27th Chaturyu, in that 27th Chaturyu, that 28th Chaturyu is coming. In that, in that 28th Chaturyu, that in the one day of one Brahma, 
वन डे ऑफ ब्रह्मा वन टाइम ओनली भगवान कम्स भगवान श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण ब्रह्मा जी को जो दैट व्हाट एक्चुअली गिव द गिवन इंस्ट्रक्शन टू ब्रह्मा दैट ज्ञानम व्हाट इज दैट इन द वेदास आल्सो दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेजर हिडन ट्रेजर इन द वेदास बाय दैट भगवान एक्चुअली सिग्निफाइंग दैट इन द वेदास टू वेद व्यास different different kind on different different places in puran also this is actually written this shloka already i have already spoken that navadipe golokaksha dhamni govindo divuyo gauro sarvatma mahapurusho mahatma mahayogi trigunatitah shatrupo bhaktim loke kashati iti bahut sare Lot of shlokas are there in the Vedas regarding this. Sarva Rupi Mahatma Gaur Rakto Shyamalo Shet Rupas Chaitanya Atma Shabai Chaitanya Shakti Bhaktya Bhaktya Karo Bhakti Do Bhakti Vedo. It means that actual in Hindi you just take that. that the one speaking that i'll just be speaking you one kind of uh, mystery regarding this that goloka khedham that in navadweep that at the at the side of janavi river ganga that mahapurush parmatma mahayogi that shuddha sat swarup govind shri gaur chandra is actually manifesting that shuddha bhakti he is manifesting that shuddha bhakti leela and is getting uh, uh, appeared on appeared there to just show that and in the geeta also bhagwan speaking eko devo sarva rupi mahatma evam gaur rakta sham evam shet rupi that shet rupi is gaur hari in bhagwat ji mahapuran also it is written in bhagwat ji mahapuran that garga charya ji have already told garga charya ji have already told in bhagwat ji mahapuran गर्गा चार्य जी ऑल्सो हैव टोल्ड दिस इन मागवा जी महापुराण रिगार्डिंग द आविर्भाव ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु ये तो बताया गर्गाचार्य ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दिस अपीयरेंस ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु इन भागवत जी महापुराण कृष्ण इत्यादि बताए It's actually already told there. Varna 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 he mango varango chanda mango di shanyasa kritsha mahas shanto nista santi parayana. So ekhi. It's all the same written in all these locals. Varna varna he mango varango. Eh? Isa. So varna varna dog do. Ekdam. Dog do him sadrisho atat. जब यू आर एक्चुअली बर्निंग गोल्ड इट इज बिकमिंग मोर प्योर दैट इन दैट सेम नवद्वीप धाम भगवान मैन एक्चुअली गेटिंग टेकिंग द सन्यास आश्रम एंड विल बी प्रीचिंग द हरि नाम ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ हरि नाम इन दैट सन्यास स्वरूप दिस अबाउट गौरंग महाप्रभु इट इज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दे अहमेव कशित ब्राह्मण सन्यास आश्रम आश्रित क्या बताया व्हाट इज एक्चुअली टोल्ड 
कश्चित ब्रह्मन सन्यास आश्रम आश्रित हरिभक्ति ग्रहयामी कलो पाप हतानो नरानो This I already written in Chaitanya Charitamrit. That Upapuran Vachan, it is. Lot of proofs are there in Adi Puran also it is written. Nityam Prachanna Vigraha Bhagavad Bhakta Rupena Lukano Rakshami Sarvada. That I am Dvij Shrishtra, this in Vaman Swarup, I am actually getting the Avir Bhav. And I'll not be giving uh, the actual uh, identification of mine with the uh, with the bhav of devotees. I'll be coming in the form of a devotee and will be just uh, in tat sandarbh also written that I'll be protecting the devotees in that swarup, not by not uh, identifying myself as Bhagwan. And in a very mysterious form, it is written in the Purans. जुगान वृत्तम छन्न कलो जद अभव स्त्री युगो अथो शतम प्रलाद प्रलाद महाराज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस प्रलाद महाराज एक्चुअली जो रियलाइज्ड सोल एंड इज एक्चुअली इज इन द्वादश महाजन वन ऑफ द द्वादश महाजन एंड ही इज स्पीकिंग प्रलाद महाराज स्पीकिंग दैट हे कृष्ण that you actually in the form of nar purpur swarup in dev swarup in rishi swarup in matsya swarup in and different different swarups you are actually manifesting uh, your avatar you are actually getting manifested and you are actually maintaining all the jivas infinity jivas in this material world and that those who are actually enemies in this material world those who are actually demons or asuras though you are actually destroying them that oh mahapurush that in kalikal also that that jugandavrit the name that jugandavrit the name kirtan dharma that it, you will be just uh, preaching that in a widespread way that's why your name is tri yuga because this avatar it is actually prachan it is actually hidden that chhan avatar is a hidden avatar that in chhan avatar that chan means chan means that it is actually a hidden avatar that which is not at all uh, manifested you are it is not at all uh, looks like an avatar bhagwan will not speak that i am avatar but it's a hidden avatar of bhagwan ya shweta shweta sharupni she already i have already told this shatashish upavartaka sunirmalam imam shanti mishanu yoti rapaya he श्री पुरुष महान प्रभु स्वामी भगवान दिन बुद्ध हर कोई का बुद्धि दैट फॉर ई फॉर दिस इज एक्चुअली ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन इंटेलिजेंस एंड विदाउट द कृपा बाय द कृपा ऑफ भगवान दैट टॉप मोस्ट सुनिर्मल एंड दैट शांति दैट पीसफुल माइंड एंड इंटेलिजेंस यू कैन गेट दैट इन योर लाइफ दिस this actually is jyotirmay it's effulgent and it is actually murtiman and this is purush is actually jyoti jyotirmay and actually is self manifested purush it's not a normal human being it's just not like made of a purush made of five elements it's not like that so like this lot of actually uh, practical proofs are there in the shastras and this in shweta dweep this uh, i have already that in that golok nirukan prasam what i'm actually speaking this in this shweta dweep it means that in golok dham that in the external outer portion of golok whether it is actually not different from golok it is akhand tatva golok tatva but still you can you can can just speak the appendix part of golok like there is one book and there is one appendix index portion of the book like in the book you can see na no, index part so in the similar manner this uh, shweta dweep is also the an uh, index appendix part of the golok a lot of uh, practical proofs are there written in the shastras and what uh, from the last 2 uh, to 3 weeks i have already actually discussing this uh, and this uh, golok nirupan prasang now actually it's going to get uh, over what i have already told in that that shloka again i will be actually reciting that in front of you you just hear that shloka again what i am trying to recite sat kamalam gokulaksham mahapadam tat karnikara tat bhyam tat anantaksho 
This I've already told you. You can you can just remember that second shloka, and the first number shloka was that Bhagwan is Govind is the only worshipable object. That is the actual Nirupan. This is the actual Nirupan, and in this Golok Nirupan prasang actually is going on. After that, I have already told. What I have told you? What did it actually written here? This already I have told you. And after that, that in in Golok Nirupan there is actually two to three. I have already told you that second number slok and first no number slok and four number slok also I have told you that in previously in the last. This fourth number slok is there, and fifth number slok in that, and in that fifth number slok that uh, I've already told you. What I've told you, just to carefully uh, hear this. Your play, your attention, please, on this sloka. Chaturasham Chatur Murtir Chatur Dhamu Chatuskritam Chatur Vihi Purushat Vaisha Chatur Bhir Hetu Bhir Pritam Shulair Doshabhi Ranadho Murdhardho Dig Vidik Shupi Dig Viduk Shupi Ashtabhir Nidivir Jishtam this last actually that all this is actually in the whole five fifth number shlok that this is after this for all this combined it's getting that five fifth shlok and that last in the last it is written this bimla adi etc the shakti by that shakti only that in all the four direction it is actually getting uh, spread uh, uh, getting spreaded by that that the, it means that who, those who want to go to go lockdown that uh, one by one that impediment that kind of barrier he need to cross that in order to go there there is all all the 10 direction there are 10 tridents i have already told you and after that they are in shweta devi the each and every vasudev sankarshan pradyumna and anirudh chaturvihu is there on all the four corners of the Shweta Dvip in the square form. And this, uh, all those fourth Purushat, it will be just uh, uh, spread it in all the four directions. And uh, that Rig, Sam, Yatur, Yajur, Atur, all those four Vedas, actually it is getting manifested by that. And and in all the four directions, there are ten tridents, I have already told you. And uh, in the Ast Siddhi, there are Ast Siddhis, different, different Siddhis, and Mahapadma, Padma, Sankha, these are eight by these eight ratna after taking that darshan then your eyes will just get puzzled in that only and it is not at all possible to go to Golok. you will forget that and in the mantra swarup there are actually ten kind of 
in that ten, ten directions that uh, mantra rupi that digpal are there those who are the actual guardmans and shamvaram gorvanda raktavaran like this parshads of Bhagwa, parshads of bhagwan are already there present they will not allow you to go there and bimla etc all those topmost shakti bimla etc all those shaktis of bhagwan they are actually in all the four directions it is just getting spreaded in all the four directions of shweta dweep so they will not allow allow to you allow you to enter golok Gurudev always used to just give this explanation about this as well, this shloka, that this, uh, that the actual avaran of Goluk, what Bhagwan actually is getting, a uh, lot of the demigods are also there who have already covered Bhagwan externally. That kind of, uh, that kind of uh, aura, you will be thinking that definitely all these demigods of this material one, not like Vishwaksen, Karnapati, etc. Vishwaksen, Ganapati, they are Avran Devata. They have already just uh, uh, protected Bhagwan from all the directions. It's not that easy to go there, to go look. When you will be going up, definitely uh, uh, we will become naked. <laughs> In the Gita also, Bhagwan actually speaking the same point. Those who want that, he won't just want to come to me. That for those persons, they have to give a lot of uh, testing in their life. I will not allow that. Even the normal demigods will not allow you to go to Bhagwan. When those who are actually doing bhajan, though all brahmachari sannyasi they are doing bhajan, they actually, they are taking all the vrats and all the demigods actually are going to destroy that vrata. In the 11th canto, Bhagwan also speaking the same thing. I have already told this point. They will not allow you to go to go look they will they will be speaking that oh, you are actually going by just uh, getting over us how it is possible they will just be creating so much uh, problems but when after that they will see that their sadguru uh, lotus feet he has topmost ananya bhakti onto that then th- those same demigods when these same demigods those are actually putting barrier in your way of your bhajan they will be seeing that uh, he has a uh, topmost ananya bhakti on sadguru lotus feet so oh my god then what they will do that they will be they will be just helping that person that individual more in the way of their bhajan this i have already told you when we will see that he has topmost ananya guru bhakti on lotus feet of guru dev oh my god then definitely the reverse will happen. They will just be trying to help that individual in order to go to Golok. They will be trying to help that individual. That six number shloka I have already told that in Golok Nirupan shloka, that shloka I was actually describing that in uh, details. And I have already told you about Golok. Each and every chapter, what is the actual glorification, I will be just uh, teach, uh, telling you that. And I have already told you that before as well. That Golok Nirupan before that, that uh, Krishna is the only worshipable object. This I have already told you, described you, and after that I have just described this uh, that Gorok Gorok Golok Nirupan Prasanga, that uh, Sridham Gokul Nirupan Prasanga, and now that uh, sixth and seventh number two shlokas I will be just dis- uh, describing in details to you. That sixth number and seventh number shloka I will be describing in front of you. This is also having some kind of division. Prabhupada actually already done this Nirupan of this shloka. That Krishna book, Krishna's Bayarmukh Maya will uh, be in the sixth and seventh number shloka. We will be describing about the Krishna Bahirmukh. Krishna is not attached by attack, attached by Maya, Bahiranga Maya. Not at all attracted by. Externally, that external Maya, Mahamaya, we can see. Maya, Krishna has no contact with that. But still, it is of Krishna. Your attention, please, what I am speaking. This is actually of Krishna only. It is not at all from any other source. But still, actually, Krishna is not at all attracted by that. It has no at all by Ranga. Maya, if some association will be there with Krishna, it is not at all possible that Krishna will be touched by Bhairanga Maya. After that, in the 8th number and 9th number shloka, I will be describing. In that Ukta Maya, that Uktamaya, that uh, Shambhu Linga Tattva. I will be describing it later. Now you just attention on the 6th number and 7th number shloka while what I will be describing. You don't need to put your mind on to more, more on to that. You just hear this 6th number shloka. 
Now you want to think that why Shriman Mahaprabhu? Why Shriman Mahaprabhu? For what purpose? Shriman Mahaprabhu is actually this Brahm Samhita actually has become so much so much important Granth he is speaking. This is the most vital of all the uh, Shastras. Siddhant Siddhant Vichar, it is the topmost vital book. You just need to read. That what Mahaprabhu has just taken from South India, that Brahma Samhita, that lot of uh, divisions are there of Brahma Samhita. Maybe you will also be reading Mahabharata also, this fifth, that fifth Adhyay, what I am actually speaking in front of you. That is very much important that Mahaprabhu has taken from South India. It is so much important that all the Tattva, Siddhanta Tattva are actually getting uh, manifested in this in, in a very clear manner. And this is actually practical uh, abbreviation. All the direct realization of Brahma himself, what he saw, he is expressing. That's why in the sixth number slok, you just uh, be careful on that and be attentive on that. What does it mean? It means that that those that Gokuleshwar, that Chinmay Parmeshwar, that Bhagwan Parat Parakileshwar, that who is Bhagwan, he is actually Sadanand Swarup. He is Sadanand Swarup. Sadanand means that definitely there is no uh, no uh, no gapping of Anand or any in other uh, other thinking. If we'll be taking it. That whether all that a Prakrit and a Prakrit Anand, whatever the ultimate source is Krishna only. That for every Anand, whether it's material and transcendental, that for infinity, happiness or Anand, this is that Govind only, the actual source. That Sadanand Swarup Govind is the actual source of all the ultimate source sources. It has no front and back, no starting and the end. If you will be thinking like that, that pre- before that Dhumbani was is there before Govind. That's why I've already started. That Param, that Param by that Param word, he is the most and extreme. By this word Param only. It means that he is Paratpara. Paratpara means Paratpara that. Apart from that, there is no uh, beginning and end for them. And that Anandamai Swarup, that definitely will be transcendental. And uh, which is not at all transcendental, how there can be any Anand. And which who is not Anand, he can't be actually Chinmay, transcendental. And that, uh, what is Anand? But still, he is not at all transcendental, that is material Anand. This is a very clear, 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 clear vichar. But it, there is Anand, but there is not Nityananda. There is no transcendental permanent Anand. Anand is there, but it's that ever-existing, ever-lasting Anand is not there. So that is actually material enjoyment. That is the topmost thing. It is very automatically clear. So, that this Dev is actually Jyotirmay, full of pram, full of effulgence, this Deva is. This Dev is. Jyotirmay means that Chinmay Parmeshwar. Jyotirmay and Chinmay is all the same. Jyotirmay and Chinmay, uh, by that only it is possible, that kind of effulgence is coming out of that. That is Jyotirmay, Jyotirmay, uh, Chinmay Vastu. Like your Atma is there. It's a very tiny, teeny soul. Infinitesimal. But still, this Atma, that our Atma is there, which is actually infinitesimal, small, very tiny. This Atma also actually is Jyotirmay. Full of effulgence. Jyotirmay means full of effulgence. This Anandamay, Chinmay, Jyotirmay, that Prakashmay is, it is, that definitely our Atma will be like that only. It is actually all the time, it's permanent. It's transcendental in nature and topmost Anandamay it is. Everything is there. It, is, it remains there all the time. Actually, it stays there. The, when Chinmay will be, definitely desire will also be there. Uh, if it is Chinmay, then definitely free will, will definitely be there. 
सो दिस दैट सेम गोकुल चंद्र दैट गोकुलेश्वर चिन्मय परमेश्वर दैट सदानंद स्वरूप दैट सेम भगवान परात पर दैट गोविंद देर इज नो रीजन फॉर हिम देर इज नो कॉज एंड इफेक्ट फॉर हिम ही देर इज नो स्टार्टिंग एंड एंड फॉर हिम दैट विद कृष्ण दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड हैज नो कनेक्शन एट ऑल बट स्टिल इनडायरेक्टली एक्चुअली एवरीथिंग कमिंग फ्रॉम भगवान ओनली बट स्टिल इट इज रिटर्न You have you haven't understand what I'm speaking. Slowly, steadily, I will be doing this, reciting it. Atma Ramasya means that those who are actually Atma Ram, those jivas are actually already there in their own Anand. Those who are already uh, Anand uh, getting uh, drowned in their own Anand. That is Atma Ram. That Atma Ramasya. There is actually uh, very big big pandit also have just described this kind of actual meaning of this word Atma Ram. Atma Ram is here. It this can also be done. That which is chin my Atma, that chin my Atma Jagat, that chin my Atma Jagat means in Vrindavan, who is actually just uh, that Raman Shil Govind is there. Who will be actually doing association with Radha Rani? Only this also can be meant. So that Atma Ram is here means. That uh, he is actually taking association of Radha Rani. Then how he he is actually uh, uh, Atma Ram? <laughs> you are actually thinking it wrongly. With Radha Rani, actually Radha Rani is actually swam swam Krishna only. That where who is Krishna? That is Radha Rani, and who is Radha Rani? That is Krishna. There is no difference between them. So he was a. That's why Radha Rani, in order to get associated, that with the getting association of Gopikas, Bhagwan is that kind of Atma Ram Bhav. It is not at all getting vanquished and destroyed. It is not at all getting the destroyed at all. You, it's very typical. It is very much impossible to understand this concept. Definitely, this uh, proof is also ready there, and uh, we I'll be just describing it ahead this sloka. And so this Atma Ramasya Sloka, the actual meaning of this Shabd Sloka, one is that Atmi Ramate Ti Atma Ram. That even Rishi Munis also are getting this kind of Atma Ram Bhav. If Rishi Munis are having uh, uh, some kind of uh, separate uh, specialities, not at all there with Krishna, then what is the use? Rishi Munis are not at all actually uh, uh, diverting their shakti. Is the Rishi Munis inside them, or uh, maybe in some individual? That at if he is getting into that Atma Ram platform, that like Sukhdev Goswami, I'll give you an example. He is actually Atma Ram. He is actually all the time getting uh, Anand in Atma only. That external things and external individuals and objects, he is not at all having any kind of relationship with them. That is Atma Ram. That Chatur Sons are also Atma Ram. Navayogendra, they are also Atma Ram. They are actually Atma Ram. Externally, they are, uh, have no uh, relationship with external object, but If that if you will be just doing the same explanation of Bhagwan, then it can't be possible. That's why I'm speaking here that Atma Ramasya. This word actually it means that that same Bhagwan who is actually there in that transcendental chain, my Jagat, that Vrindavan, he is actually associating with Shri Mati Radha Rani, who is a her actual Shakti. He is actually doing uh, the Lila with that. That that Govind actually is Atma Ramasya. This actually. A actual meaning that is the actual exact meaning of that. Just be careful on this man that he is Atma Ram. Why? Because he is Atma Ram. Just care, be careful. He is a Atma Ram. That I have already done this kind of description on that ground, on the background of that discussion I am discussing here. That's why. Is Tasya means that Krishna Sya, that Govinda Sya. प्रकृतवा ना समागमा यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट मींस दैट विद प्रकृति इट हैज नो कनेक्शन एट ऑल नो अटैचमेंट इज देयर विद प्रकृति नो कांटेक्ट विद इट्स कांटेक्टलेस विद द प्रकृति दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग यू जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑन दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ यू आर गेटिंग इट रॉन्ग then whole uh, thing you will uh, scenario will uh, find wrong only this point very much important to understand 
if now bhaktino thakur has just written a very nice uh, thing very important and uh, unique thing he has written it's very important to discuss this point as well bhaktino thakur speaking that same krishna he is that parashakti swayam he is that parashakti that which swayam chit shakti swarupa golok and in gokul leela he is actually uh, manifesting himself in different uh, ways and doing that prakat vihar in different leelas in golok and that by that same kripa of bhagwan that uh, tathastha shakti that jeevgan that all the jivas who was getting from the tathastha shakti just be careful bhaktivinod thakur what actually unique what is a special and the unique siddhant what bhaktivinod what thakur want to speak bhaktivinod thakur want to speak that that this uh, bhagwan actually is chinmay he is actually nitya he is actually there all the time manifesting his leela there in golok dham he is leelaiman that with the gop gopijan and everyone but the actual speciality is that that by the kripa of bhagwan by the actual uh, uh, that tathastha shakti bad means that that who all the jivas were getting manifested from the tathastha shakti that is also by the kripa of bhagwan they can do their bhajan and they can get that uh, same place in the nitya leela of that bhagwan then only they can get uh, togetherness with bhagwan in the in the leela of bhagwan he can just join the leela of bhagwan then uh, it is uh, all the time possible for each and every individual jiva definitely it is impossible but still it is possible to go to golok dham every jiva that in golok nipur prasang it is next to impossible to enter golok but still it is possible if it is not at all possible then how this then our heart will break that's it i actually have to take this kind of desire na by the bhagwan definitely gonna do kripa to on me and this chit shakti swarupa that antaranga shakti that bahiranga swarupa maya shakti what you can find you understand the point what i'm speaking what propada actually speaking that the what is the actual thinking of um, definition of maya shakti just open your ears and hear the actual definition of maya shakti what it is that bhakti no thakur actually speaking that bhagwan's that antaranga shakti is the actual vastavik shakti that antaranga shakti that whatever the outer external that shakti which uh, you looks that it is there that it has existence is not at all possible if that swarup shakti is not at all there you want to didn't understand what i'm speaking i again i will speak that bhagwan's that antaranga shakti is actually swarup shakti and that outside that swarup shakti that what kind of shakti you are actually realizing but still that if swarup shakti is not at all there then that shakti don't be uh, that shakti will not be having that existence that shakti is called bahiranga shakti maya shakti which i actually in uh, brahm samhita i will be just discussing it forward you have i have already realized this point na what i have told so this thing i just want to get uh, uh, manifest that bhakti mohan thakur has just uh, realized this point and want to manifest that same uh, bahirang uh, antaranga shakti that shadow of that shakti that para and apara two shakti that bahiranga maya shakti it is actually outside the golok that kind of avaran swarup that outside the uh, boundary of vaikunth that virja river about uh, outside that also that virja river also about from you just go away from that place as well and you can go away more and more away from that virja river it is actually outside that virja river also apart of uh, very far away from virja it is actually located there it's not there with the vaikunth tatva at all so this kind of uh, that parishud topmost pure uh, situation or condition is possible this kind of parishuddha situation or condition in that that bahiranga same bahiranga shakti that krishna has a, it is very very far distant to have contact with this bahiranga shakti it's very very distant thing to think it's just like joking that krishna will get contact with this bahiranga shakti maya shakti maya shakti can't see krishna also it is not at all possible for maya devi to see krishna 
दैट व्यास जी व्यासदेव जी महाराज दैट आई ऑलरेडी सीन दैट व्यासदेव जी महाराज आई ऑलरेडी सीन दिस प्रैक्टिकली दैट बिहाइंड भगवान जस्ट विद हर हेड डाउन इन अ वेरी शाई मूड माया माया शक्ति इज एक्चुअली स्टैंडिंग देयर इज मैनिफेस्टिंग देयर एंड इज जस्ट गेट स्टैंडिंग देयर विद अ वेरी शाई मूड विद हर हेड डाउन इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इन भागवत जी महापुराण व्यास जी महाराज हैज जस्ट टेकन द दर्शन ऑफ दैट that that to, that with the that uh, all the time we have connection with bhagwan there is no disconnection with bhagwan even fraction of second for that there is continuous flow of seva going on that inside his heart that flow of seva is actually going on that connection is going on this kind of connection is there so so maya devi that uh, maya devi it is just like a joking that it can't get connect connection with bhagwan at all it is just like a joking even she can't see bhagwan also he he she can't come in front of bhagwan also she can't even come in front of bhagwan also this kind of uh, courage she don't have yes tomorrow i will be just discussing on this uh, vishe more and we will be very uh, will be feeling very much anand in order to discuss that even she can't come in front of bhagwan also what to speak of uh, uh, getting connection with bhagwan hmm. and in the chandi path also it is actually written lot of things regarding this in the chandi path lot of things i have already written regarding this lot of things are written there regarding this bahiranga shakti tatva in chandi path lot of tatva is actually siddhant tatva is actually written they don't know they are just speaking externally they that anand mahima they are actually speaking anand mahima <laughs> are that anandmay ma anandmay means if she is actually anandmay that kind of what what kind of anand she is actually of which world you just need to think that that this material world anand if you want okay you can take that stool and urine but that transcendental world anand happiness that is actually totally separate which are is there for that that anandmay ma if their conception if their intelligence and mind and is actually fine stable then that anandmay ma is that antaranga shakti is actually manifested that by speaking that maya shakti you are speaking anandmay then you are getting that dosh why because what kind of anand she can give maya shakti external material anand she can give only that's it that maya actually becoming very much sad this i have already told you na just with a very shy mood just putting her head down actually she is actually standing behind krishna maya don't have this kind of courage also that chaya maya this maya shakti don't have this kind of courage that she can come in front of bhagwan just with a very shy mood actually not coming with bhagwan because bhagwan has given this kind of seva to her that all the time she is feeling all the material things she is actually busy in that male and female thing are there and it actually all things of maya shakti and this attraction repulsion actually is there so this so uh, someone will get uh, into this entangled into this and some you just going to uplift someone and just to entangle someone this is your only work that's it just plotting against someone so maya actually becoming very much uh, 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 very much uh, unhappy with us that's why she is not at all uh, getting in front of bhagwan also so whatever the case i'll be discussing it more tomorrow and now this the actual important point today is that this bhairanga with bhairanga maya bhagwan's darshan is a very far distant thing even that con- connection is a very far distant it's just like a joking bhagwan can't get connection with that maya shakti maya shakti can't come in front of bhagwan and in the seventh shloka this shlok i'll be just discussing i'll be just uh, giving rest up till this point just be careful on this point what i'm speaking my pronunciation just to be careful on that be attentive on that my pronunciation nok yogustaya sahu atmona ramayare me taktuk kalam sishikshaya 
up till this point today i will be just giving rest tomorrow i will be just describing the actual thing of this point to you and to maybe about will be discussing about the shambhuling tatva as well up till this point today i will be just giving uh, rest just forgive me i don't have any time what to do so sada muktor opi sada mukto yopi सदा मुक्त भद्दोस्मी भक्ति स्नेह रुजु भी अजीत योपी जीत अहम तयरवशो ओपी वशीकृता त्यक्त बंधु जन स्नेह मयि या कुरते रति एक स्तस्मी स मे न चान्नो अस्ति अब्बयो सुहृद हरिभक्ति सुदय से श्लोक बताया वाच कल्प तुर्वश्य कि पासिंद पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो नमो